welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time but welcome back to my new series which is called i don't know <laughs> i don't know i called it demo and i now <laughs> so it's gonna be demo and i if the name changes the series is still the same <laughs> so <sighs> keep that in mind and oh there they are i was just wondering where the dice are that i wanted to demo today for you so <laughs> they just disappeared on me okay i just tried to throw in the very last one <laughs> didn't work okay today i do want to use two dice not two of those but those are probably my favorite dice for tags i do have only a couple i don't have that many because Tags, you can make yourself really quick, so I don't know. I have one or two in mind that I would like to purchase, but I haven't yet, so yes. And then there are the little ladies right here. And I must say, I might have used one, but they are so small. And I thought, oh, I really want to have them, you know. <laughs> they were so cheap. So I got them and I didn't do anything with them yet. But today, why not? Do I know what I want to do? Not really. The only thing I know is I do want to use a tag and I do want to use the ladies. And I just decided that I want to use some napkins <laughs> because I want to do some decoupaging. And I just harvested some new trash from my kitchen. So my hubby and daughter went to get some groceries and they got something new and it had really cool packaging it was white inside so i loved that of course <laughs> i said no that's mine <laughs> because you know i told them already i don't need new packaging except if it's pizza pizza boxes i love the packaging from costco pizza box it's really really pretty and very thick so um yeah, they always keep that, but this one I wanted to keep. And then I did have one from something. I do not know what, but that doesn't really matter to me because it just doesn't. The first thing I did was I used the third, so the metal right here, and those are stitched dies. So I got myself a couple tags already. And in case you haven't seen it, <laughs> I will put my tag, uh, my dye organization in the description. I have had a couple people who did it too, and they are happy with the same organization like I have. And I am very, very, very happy with that. Otherwise, I would not recommend it to you. But I am really happy with that because I can find everything. I will start out with those. The girls can stay girls for now. I didn't even cut them out yet because I still couldn't decide on the paper or, you know, I need to prepare my, my tags first. And I would do some um, decoupaging, I guess you call it. I call it napkin. <laughs> I just call it napkin on paper. <laughs> so those are from AliExpress, by the way. If you feel like ordering some, you can totally do so. And... What you need to do is just, and I did it in a couple of my videos already, but I would just pick a piece because this is really little and I would just pick a piece that I do like, you know, and this is what I'm going to glue onto my tag right here. So I do like this one and I'm just going to, I don't want to damage the butterfly, you know, because I might keep the butterfly and use it somewhere else. But I will just cut out a piece for me because I do want to have some of this writing on it and I want to have this, oh my god, don't ask me how you call it, fleur to something. <laughs> I do not speak French. I do not intend to because, what is it? I think my fan is on. Everything is just flying away. Uh, I had children in school trying to learn French and they cried because they didn't like it. It's not the language that we don't like. It's um very hard <laughs> to learn French. So <laughs> that's why I don't want to learn it. I'm like, you know, 
I have a trauma <laughs> from that. So all I'm going to do is to put some Mod Podge right here. And, you know, it didn't really matter that they have a stitching because I'm going to cover it up. But whatever. I cover it up. And once it's on top there, I will put a little more on top. And I really need to buy a big one next time because I have been using it a lot. And I believe I even have a recipe for how to make your own <laughs> saved somewhere. <laughs> but, yeah. It doesn't mean that I do make my own, right? Okay, so this is good. I'm going to just put it aside right here. And um, see what else I want to do. I would like to make three different ones just, you know... To show you that it's not about the napkin. <laughs> you don't have to have the same napkin to do so. But I'm going to do the same thing with this napkin. I will pick a piece for that. And I will do the same thing. Those I got at Tuesday morning. Oh my god, I got a good Tuesday morning once again. And of course here I would like to have a butterfly. But it's kind of big. It's a big butterfly. Maybe I just go with a with a flower or something or half a butterfly right here. Yeah, I might just go with the half of the butterfly. So I'm going to do this napkin and that napkin and then be back. Alrighty, <laughs> look, you know what? I have had my heat gun for a while, <laughs> for a while, <laughs> I believe like a year or so. But I have never used it for crafting except like for heat embossing. And now I'm, I just left it on my table now. It's plugged in. I stuck it into one of my organizers and I can dry everything. You know, if I do something and there's glue and I have to wait for a long time till it dries, I use my heat gun. No, <laughs> why didn't I do it before? I do not know. So what I want to do now, they are not dry, dry, like super dry. So I will let them dry a little longer. But before I do that, I will go around them with some distress ink, just because I love that. And I chose two of them. This one is called Gather Twigs. I have never um, used this one. So that's the first time. That's fine. I will just... With the, with the pad itself, I will just go around the edges just because I like the look of distress tags. You know, it's not much distressing going on here, but it's much better than it is without it. It just gives a nice edge, I guess. And because those two are very similar, I will use the same ink and this is chipped sapphire. This one has to dry longer. I can feel that this one is really, really soft because I tried to put something on the back. So it has Mod Podge from both sides, but it's okay. We will get this one dry. And this has blue in it as well. So I'm just going to do that with the blue one too. This one feels pretty dry though. very dry actually i like it see i don't have paper like this but because i have napkins and there's always so many napkins and i can just pick the part i want to put onto my tag and it gets like um some i don't know you can touch it you can feel it it feels different so this one for example got a bubble or two <laughs> i don't know if you could you see that bubbles <laughs> But that's fine. It has some texture to it. But now I like the tags a lot, but I have no idea how to incorporate the ladies on there. <laughs> so that will be fun. But what I can do is to punch the holes real quick. They were there, but now they are gone, of course, because we'll put some napkin on top. I hope this one is going to punch for me. Yes, it does. I love the Smarter Stewart punch I got at Tuesday morning and I wish I had one 
with the normal hole. I didn't even see when I bought it that it has this little hole. So when I came home, I was a little disappointed. But then I found a lot of things <laughs> that need a little hole. So I'm very happy to have it. Okay. I will let it dry for like 10 minutes or something just, you know, to be sure that it's really dry and I need a break anyways. And maybe in that time I can figure out what to do with my girls on top of that just because i really want to use the tags and the girls so let's try to get my brain working a little bit i'm back my tags have dried and that's not the only thing that happened here <laughs> so um while they were drying it was yesterday and um i just went to bed I didn't want to craft anymore but this morning I did and I decided to just go ahead and make my tiles you know because I'm not gonna make if I make everything here on video it's gonna take way too long but what I'm showing you are the dice anyways so I did make two tiles I just make them myself out of packaging I stick it on top of each other and then I put some gesso on top and then I stamp the words I wanted. I like that because I get to um, use words I need for this project right now, <laughs> you know. I also took the two girls and I cut them out in gold paper right here. And also I cut them out in packaging paper, which I wanted to show you. So this was my beloved pizza packaging and I like it because it's very thick you know and truthfully I also like to use it just like that the um, brown color is just so cool it has like this little lines in it and you know just stuff like that so what I'm gonna do now is I will cut them out because they are stuck here and there just because it's really thick packaging it's not much they have like a little pieces that did not cut through and I could have cut again and again, but to me, it's just easier to cut the little pieces off, you know, just to free them from the packaging. As you can see, it's not much. Most of it is coming out itself. So I'm going to do that and then stick it on top just to give it some dimension and then be back. But this one, I really wanted to show you. <laughs> so you see at least a little bit. <laughs> so let me do that quick. Okay, so I glued them all on top of each other. Pay attention that they are, you know, lining up. <laughs> but this is what you get. And they are dimensional and very, very sturdy. So I used, what did I use? Three pieces of packaging die cut and then one piece of the gold paper. So this is what it's going to be. And to me... They are friends. <laughs> they are friends and they go sh shopping, <laughs> shopping, <laughs> shopping. Oh my God. <laughs> so that's why I decided to do this this way. And you know, you can do whatever you want to do. This is to me, I'm going to finish one. Look what I did, by the way, for the very, very, very first time, I used a stencil. I don't know. Can you see that? It's white, but there. Ha! Eiffel Tower. <laughs> I got a stencil set for a dollar at Joanne's and my daughter got this for me from Michael's and I have never tried it and I so wanted to. This is a part of my stencil set. The other three are gone <laughs> because I washed them. <laughs> but I tried it out on this one and I loved it. So this one will be made too. It will be like a Paris tag. Not sure if I'm going to make it now or you know just later but here i'm almost done all i want to do is to use some washi and i have this tim holtz washi i never used so <laughs> i bought it at hobby lobby and i didn't use it and you know i made myself a mental note saying what i have to use or you know telling myself that i have to use this and that <gasps> No, no, no. <laughs> I don't use the yellow scissors for sticky stuff. <sighs> I have to learn that. But see, I kind of realize already. 
And this just has some flowers and I think it goes with the whole tag. And I want to put something in the bag right there, you know. And also I'm wondering if I should put, and I'm going to, I'm going to put some gold washi right here. Because I want to use washi, but this one is not going to stick and I know it already. So, I mean, it will stick, but it will fall off. But I'm just going to put some glue underneath. You know, it kind of defeats the purpose of decorative tape because it turns to be a decorative, not sticking tape. <laughs> so to me, it's like, uh, okay, <laughs> now I can just keep it like that. Let it dry <laughs> while it sticks to the mat, at least. And I would just put the fronts right here. And then put the little front tile right up there. So I'm thinking right now. One washi, two washi, one washi, two washi, friends. No, I think that would be nice. I think that looks good. I might just cut off, uh, either cut off or just leave it like that because it's very, very sturdy actually. So it will stay on there. I'm thinking if there is something. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see if I do want to use a doily somewhere. <laughs> no, the doily is going to cover up the whole thing here. And I really like the butterfly. Nope, I'm just going to go like that. Because this is what I thought first. And this is what I'm going to do. You can choose any other color. I see that it's maybe a little bit, you know two tone and tone here maybe i should have chosen something different in the background but i really 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 like the napkin and i wanted to use it and that's what i did and as i always say it's my art <laughs> so i do what i want to do <laughs> and you do what you want to do this is just for you to get an idea of what to do with your dice in case you have the same die. Okay, let me find something flat Whew. that I can use to just push on top. Okay, flatten it out because it has to stick and it has to be flat. Well, it sticks. That's what I want. Okay, so that's flat and I'm going to just put friends and I really just put some gesso on top and some distress ink and I stamped it. So, and since it is paper, I'm just going to use art glitter glue because it is paper. You know, it's not like anything else. <sighs> I use stuff here. <laughs> And I'm really not sure I will show you. Let me, let me press on this first. And then those. Oh, look, they fit right here. So I don't even need the bigger one. I'm really, really, really not sure if I want to stick any girl on this one. I don't think so. I really like this as it is. I'm going to just keep it and use it like that. I'm not going to stick anybody on there. <laughs> you know, just because I really like it. And what do you have, my little lady? Okay, you could just go on top of there. Okay, so while this is drying, I'm going to cut out the third one. Now I'm also thinking, how do you get the Eiffel Tower to stick out a little bit? I might just go and try the Distress Ink on top of it. Because it's white and I, I just want to stick it out some, you know? And I think it's helping, kind of. <laughs> I'll show you in a sec. Look. Yeah. It gets more visible. I'm just rubbing my finger with the distress ink all over it. 
and the good thing is it also comes on the tag so the tags is the tag is more distressed as well and i like it okay i think this is much more visible than it was before and i'm going to cut this little girl out too yeah i'm gonna do two tags Okay, so I cut that and I ran her through an embossing folder. As you can see, she has a couple dots on her just because, I don't know, I thought it was cooler. <laughs> it looks better. And uh, she's on a piece of packaging, actually two pieces of packaging. I'm just going to take out the leftover glue right here, but it dries clear. It's art glitter glue, so I don't worry about that. And the only thing... Thing. Ooh, that looks pretty good with her right there. I like it. But I still want to put a tiny bit of my gold right here. Just because it's here. And just because I want to use washi tape. White. So, let me get this straight. Because I'm not going to let it go all the way. Just because I did something to this part. Straight. I use straight. <laughs> I don't know. I use straight, hopefully. Okay, and she will go right on top here. And I like that. And the tile. Where will the tile go? The tile will probably go right on top there. Yep. Done. Decision made. I try to not to think too much about stuff anymore. Like I tend to overthinking and then I lose the fun of crafting. I don't know if you can understand, but if I start overthinking and how to make it better and how to make it this and that, it's done. I will be stressed out and I'm not having that much fun anymore. So I go with the first thing I like. <laughs> And I do not overthink anymore. And I want it to be like this. Cover the Eiffel Tower a little bit. But I want her to be there. You will see she's kind of <coughs> lost there. But I will show you in just a second. Once it starts drying how I want it and be flat. Okay, let me cut off the leftover washi right here. Is she flat? Yes, she is. Ooh, I like this one. Okay. Look, I think I did a great job. <laughs> I think she looks really good. <laughs> I think she does. I really, I'm not using this one because I just, you know, I, I love how it looks like that. And putting anything on top will just, you know, hide the bird. And I don't like that. I'm going to see if I'm going to use something else on it later on. And this is the second one. And I think it looks really, really cool. So, <laughs> the word France is not very straight. I stamped it with the AliExpress ones. And I don't know why, but... Apparently, the word, um, the letter D is not straight on there, but that's fine. I don't know. That's just fine with me. And I'm thinking, once again, I'm thinking stuff. Why am I thinking stuff? Don't put anything else on it. I was just going to say, I was, I want to glitter this up. <laughs> no, no, no. I think I'm done. <laughs> that's what I should be thinking. Okay. I think I'm done. I used all the three girls and I used my tags. So that's pretty good. This one is just left over. So yeah, where is my, let me find my stuff here. There are the two girls. There is the third girl. Okay. So the three girls right here and the tag right here. I'm going to put it down. And I made two pretty tags. And believe me, 
I see <laughs> the, the word France is cricket. <laughs> but whatever, whatever. I think that's my favorite. Of course it is because it's Paris, you know. But yeah, look, I used them finally. I did not use them before. And I used my paste. What is it? Modeling paste. It's called, I believe it was $2 at Michael's. You know, so I used that for the very first time. Used a stencil for the very first time. And it turned out pretty good, except for, I don't know if you can see this little part right here. Year. <laughs> when it was drying a piece of paper fell on it actually a very tiny piece like this but yeah it damaged it a little bit and I figured oh well I can just keep it that way it doesn't bug me too much okay so those are my how am I call it, gonna call this video I don't know three girls girls on tags <laughs> I have no idea but you could also one tip here, you could also make the tiles like each letter, one tile. I do have a video on how I make made the tiles each letter, one tile. If I find it, I will put it in the description down below. But it's just very, very easy. You cut yourself pieces of cardstock or leftover paper or whatever it is and just put it on top, on top, on top, and then you stamp on it. So there is not much to do. But yeah, I'm done. I'm liking it actually and if you do too <laughs> give me thumbs up share subscribe leave me a comment do you have these little girls i haven't seen them actually i don't know if i have ever seen anybody using them i cannot think of anybody so i don't know if people just didn't get it or you know or don't use it just like me <laughs> i don't use it so just let me know did you get them? Do you have those? And are those your favorites, just like mine? Leave a comment down below. And did I say thumbs up, share, subscribe? If not, I said it again. <laughs> so you guys enjoy your day. And I will probably just keep on crafting something. So i see you in my next video. Bye-bye.